Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Weekly Nail Art Stamping Club and the theme this week is Glow in the Dark, hosted by April of April with a Sparkle. Unfortunately, April didn't join us <laughs> this week, but she did get the, um, the collage ready for us. We've got some great vannies to show you. They're so cute. I'm so excited about this one. So let's take a look at everyone's manny. Mine will be the last one and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. So today I'll be using Wave Gel's Base Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. And the first polish I'll be putting on my fingernails is Clean Slate from the Wave Gel um, Duo Set. I'll be applying Clean Slate to my index finger, my pinky, and my thumb. And as always with gel, you want to work with... Um, thin coats and make sure you clean up anything that got on the skin before you cure. Next I'll be applying Wave Gel's Glow in the Dark Glow Number 3. And Glow Number 3 I think looks like a beautiful watermelon kind of red color. I really I like it. And the first coat, it looks a little bit more pinky, um, but then it builds up a little bit more to the red tone on the second coat. It is sort of like a jelly-like formula. So um, it's a little on the, it's just sheer jelly-like. I, I love the color, it's really pretty. And the last color I'll be applying to my nails is um, Wave Gel's Mood Color Lemon Lime. I'll be applying this to my ring finger. And this is the color it is when it's cool. It turns to a, I don't know, like a kiwi yellowish green, I mean a yellowish green when it is um, warm. As you can tell, my hands must be warm because it's shifting right away. All right, so I'm gonna cure this and then we'll come back for the second coats. Okay, and this is the second coat of glow number three. The second coat of Clean Slate. Okay, and now we're going for the second coat of Lemon Lime. Okay, so I'm gonna cure that and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've got two coats of everything like that. Normally, I would probably do this one in the um, the red glow color. However, my thumbnail is really ticking me off, so <laughs> it's not gonna get to be pretty today. Um, and I'm going to use um, the glow top coat on my ring finger because it is a glow mani today. And I just want more than one nail glowing, I guess. Would have had three, but no. Thumbnail has to continually break. Apparently it doesn't want to be in videos. Either that or I don't give it enough video time and it's mad at me. I don't know which. 
whatever. So I've got a glow top coat on there. Okay, I also put um, top coat on the black nails because I'm not going to do any stamping there. I'm going to remove the tacky layer from um, the red nail. And this one is fine because the, um, the glow top coat is also no clean. Okay, so the first plate I'm going to use is Four Seasons Summer by Summerall 3 by Lena, and I love this plate. It's got a lot of nice images on it. We are going to use watermelon seeds. Oh my gosh, I love these watermelon seeds. This is so cool. Basically, that's what really sold me on the um, plate. Okay, so I've got my Brave Diva on the black stamping polish, and that's what we're going to use for the watermelons. I got my favorite Queen stamper that I got at Walmart. It is nice and sticky and clear, and the back pops out, um, but I don't have the, I can pop the back out. That's nice because if the um, bottom gets all scratched up, you can just pop it out and you can still see. Um, which is really great for us YouTubers so that you can see. I mean, we can pretty much see through the scratched up, but you guys are looking through a lens and a video, and sometimes it just looks really crappy. So there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put the black right here. It and pick it up. Well, I don't really like how that worked out. Hmm. Okay, well this image is not picking up well at all. Um, it's not even picking up good with my sticky stamper, so um, not really happy about that. So I'm going to put um, the polish in all of the little holes and hope for at least most of them coming up. I've switched to um, a thicker scraper and I'm doing it a lot lighter and I am pushing it down a little bit firmer. And that seems to work a lot better. And uh, I'll just touch them up with some black polish. There we go. Okay, that works for me. Okay, so I just fixed those up off um, camera with an extra fine dotting tool. Those will look fine when we put the top coat on. And see, I just love those little watermelons, just these kind of just like all over the place. Next, I have um, my Moyu London stamping plate, um, Tropical Collection number eight. And yep, we're going to use the outside of the watermelon right there. And I've got my Hit the Bottle. See what I green. Okay. And there we go, a perfect pickup, yay. <laughs> right, and so I'm just going to put this on this finger right here. Okay, so the last, well, not the last step. The next step is I am going to um, top coat these. And I'm just gonna cure that and come back. Okay, so I decided I'm going to add a matte finish um, to these two nails. So I did put the um, glossy top coat on, just to kind of smooth everything out um, so that the um, matte top coat doesn't have any, um, I don't know, it's not lumpy looking or whatever. I'm just going to put that on thin layers and cure it. And then we'll come back. So now I'm going to use Moira Fixing Gel 1. And what this is, it's like a really 
thick, um, I don't know. It's like a really thick kind of top coat thing. It holds stones in on your manicure. And then I have a dotting tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some um, water droplets on my nails. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, and I'm going to cure that, and then I'm going to come back and probably raise them up a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back in. Let's make sure that they're nice and raised up. I'm just going to do the same thing to that nail and then cure it and come back. Okay, so now the fixing gel is not, um, it's not a no clean. So what I'm doing is I'm just going over that with um, some shiny no clean top gel so it won't be tacky. And then I'm going to cure this and come back. I'll just, uh, I'll do the other nail off camera. You guys get the idea. Okay, so here is the finished look. All right, and my hands are pretty warm, so I'm going to cool them off. Okay, and here's what it looks like when it's cool. You can definitely see that darker green. And here they are glowing. So that glow is pretty remarkable. Um, I liked it. <laughs> I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.